some of the most notable moves before today's NBA trading deadline. It was quiet for a period of time, and all of a sudden it exploded to a whole bunch of tweets and information. But you're looking at the team with the best record in the East right that now. That is a big-time move to me. Hello? Hey. I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm not traded? Oh, wow. Thank God, man. Whew. Wow. Thank God. So, who do we get? Oh, really? Nice. How hungry are you? This is Ben. Oh, I don't yes. want it. I don't want it. What the hell is this? <laughs> are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> that is not no chicken, man. Hello everybody, this is Serge Ibaka, aka Mafuji Chef. Welcome to a new episode of How Hungry Are You? How Hungry Are You? Today I'm cooking for my new teammate, Marc Gazol. Me and Marc, we go way back from national team in Spain. It's only right I invite him so he can try the special dish of Mafuji Chef. Marc is a very healthy guy and I have to make sure I'm cooking something very good so he can enjoy it. So today I'm cooking Kao Har. A Mafuzi Chef meal is not complete without my favorite ingredient. Salt and pepper. And this salt is come from Lake Minnetonka. Why don't you purify yourself in the waters of Lake Minnetonka? And the pepper from Spain. And me from Congo, original man, 100% pure. You got me? Cooking tip, use the wet cup under the cutting board so it doesn't slip. The art is ready. This smells so good. Wait. Mm. Okay. Hey, Yo, Mark, what's up, Mark? How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great, man. Yeah, welcome. I'm... Thanks for coming, brother. Thank you. Yes, sir. Hey, I got a surprise for you. Who's the surprise? I brought another guest. Another guest? Yeah. You know who we play tomorrow, right? I know we play, we play the Spurs tomorrow. And who's in the Spurs team? Uh, I know DeRozan is there. And, and uh, related to me? Pau. Pau. Oh, Pau is here? Yeah, brother. Hey. Hey. Oh, come on, Pau. What's up, sir? What's up, big brother? Yeah, sorry. Well, I didn't invite you. I don't know why you come here. I didn't invite you. Because I, I miss you. you know, I want to see you. Hey, I wanted, you make enough I wanted to experience this. I think it's enough for both or two of us. Yes? Yes, I think I'm, so. I'm sure All it is. right, perfect. Okay, welcome. Thank you. Thank okay, you can have a seat. Yeah, Let's thanks. do it. Yes, how hungry are you guys? Very hungry. Are you hungry? Yeah. yeah. Oh, man, how you been, pal? I'm doing well. Good to see you, brother. Good to see you. Yeah, well, you know, Mark's here now, so... That's right. Huh? Teammates again. Then again, again. Soon. And then again. That's right. Yeah. Happy for him, happy for you. Okay, There's thank always. you, thank you. You never heard about Mafuzi Chef? I've heard about Mafuzi Chef, yes. Oh, yeah? Yes. Also, you ready for Mafuzi Chef? I am. Okay. I just want to ask you the secret about your health. You know, I know you're kind of guy with very healthy and uh, you lost a lot of weight. What's your secret? No secret. Uh, just trying to always get a little better. Uh, always uh, 
you know, want to be healthier. And now it's more about being an example for my, my children. Our granddad uh, had a garden um, and, and he used to always work. And, uh, and now that I had the space and the time, I wanted to grow my own veggies and, uh, and understand what it came from. That's forced you to eat healthy too. I know you since back, right? But when you move to the state, you are into more into fashion. <laughs> Come on, this is fashion. Don't tell me this, this is fashion. Is, yeah, this is this fashion. Is something I just put together. I go yeah. around the house like that. Yeah, and <laughs> I know Pao, Pao, Pao have different styling. Yes. You're more casual business more, guy. More classical. So, wow. who do you think are the best styling? Both you guys. I, I think at the end of the day, it's whatever Smart say, whatever you feel more comfortable with and yeah. happy with. So his style works well for him. It's more his personality. This is more my style, more classical, more subtle. Uh, more elegant. You guys are a fan of soccer? Mm -hmm. We love soccer. Oh yeah? Yeah, of course. Being from Barcelona. So who is your favorite soccer player? The team sport. It, to me, it's hard to pick one guy on a team sport. Okay. If we're talking about tennis. Yeah. We can, you know, he'll pick Rafa Nadal. I tennis, of course, Rafa. I'll, I'll pick like Rafa. Uh, Roger. You, you're a tennis, Roger? Yeah, Roger. And you Rafa? Mm -hmm. yeah, you know what? You know who I'm going I'm to go with? You? That's funny. Who? I'm good for Roger too. Yeah. I know. Yeah. yeah. How you know? Good job. Because you, <laughs> because you have a big class. Soccer national team, Spanish national team. Okay. Who's your favorite player? Uh, a lot of times I used to think that it was Carlos Puyol, Iniesta, and Xavi. It changed, huh? Generation. So it's, it has changed a little bit and it has evolved, especially when they won back-to-back uh, -back European Championships and the World Championship in South Africa. And I was able to be there at the, at the field, so it was incredible. So uh, those guys. And what about you, Mark? I'm, I'm gonna go different. Like obviously, those three guys are. Uh, so you, I, I feel like you know, I feel like you always should go different. Yeah, with I have, Pao. because like, you just said that. It makes so, sense. It so makes I'm sense. Go say something. Yeah, you don't want people to say, oh, because his brother said that, and uh, he, it go, makes he sense. went with, makes he sense. went with a with a right answer, obviously, and, and yeah, those are super sense. super guys. I'm gonna go with Busquets. Busquets is somebody that always done a, a little bit of everything. Yeah. Defense, uh, Busquets, start the break. Yeah, Busquets is somebody that I, that I like. He's also very low key. I like Jordi Alba, Pique. Anybody that play for Barcelona, I'll, I'll always pick. I think my favorite one is Sergio Ramos like for his defense. Like, like his intensity, you know, like you can feel the energy. So. Okay. I, see, I see you wearing a lot of white, so it makes sense. Uh, 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 let's he, not go there. Let's play. not go there. Uh, we play, no, uh, we and don't Madrid. forget, he, don't he forget that he's from Madrid. Madrid. Yeah, he, he played for Madrid in the lockout year. I oh, forgot that. Yeah. Yeah. Forget, don't forget that. No, no, no. So, no, you know, let, let, let's not go there. You got two rings, right? Yes. You, as a champion, what's your advice for us? Uh, my advice is to really believe in your chances, to give it all to make that happen. Make sure that you guys are going to finish at the top. Don't allow anyone to, to get in your way. I think that that was our mentality when I was uh, in that position. And uh, no matter how good they were or how much they wanted to win as well, you go after it and you take it from him. And I learned that from Kobe, being around Kobe as well a lot of time. About Kobe? What kind of funny story you can tell us about Kobe? Well, before we got, I got traded to the Lakers, we ran into each other in Barcelona. He was staying at the Juan Carlos Primero Hotel, and I used to go to the gym there to, to lift weights and during the summer. And we just ran into each other. And he was at that point where he was talking about maybe going to the Bulls and getting traded to the Bulls. At that, oh, wow. at that time, he was also thinking about leaving the Lakers. And uh, I was not very happy at the time with the, at the Grizzlies, so he was like, oh, hope, hope we, maybe one day we can play together. It would be, it'd be great. And five months later, uh, it happened. You used to play with Zeebo. Yeah. I used to play you know, against him too. Yeah, very tough guy. Very I have tough. a lot of respect. What is one of the f uh, funny story about Zeebo? Zeebo, you know the, the image he has, tough guy. Tough guy, and yeah. like, you know all that things like he's the most lovable guy that you can ever meet like he's so nice um you know always had a smile on his face you know i remember like he was the the, the life of my wedding obviously he MVP. didn't speak any spanish yes. mvp like yes. MVP, mvp of the, of the regular MVP. season um, regular season finals mvp he yeah. was the mvp for the whole thing and everybody to this day you know five six years later still talk about how much everyone in spain loves Zebo. so that gives you an example how you know how caring and how you know likable he is. A lot, a lot of guys in the league, they pretend to be tough, but they are not tough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when you push them back, they start crying. Yeah. Debo was one of the few guys like in box out the free throw, you box him out very well, he say, yeah, good job, good box out. Yeah. Or you, you, you know, you bump him hard, like he's gonna say, yeah, good bump, like, you know? Oh, yeah. He's gonna try to come back to you and complain what you do to me. Because a lot of guys in the league, like, they try to push you hard, and when you push them back, they start complaining to a ref. Like, yeah, oh yeah. I'm just like, why you do that if you don't? 
Right. If you want to play that kind of game. What do you think about uh, DeMar DeRozan and Kawhi Leonard? Yeah. What are the, you think are the main differences? Both of them, they can score the ball. Oh. DeMar, he likes to, you know, he likes to play a little more smooth. Mm -hmm. You know, more, more smooth, you know. More finesse. Yeah, use his uh, um, feet work, mm -hmm. every step, all that. Mm -hmm. And Kawhi is just more like a boom, boom, boom. I enjoyed playing with, uh, with, with Kawhi. I think he made our team better. Yeah. I think he's a great offensive player, but he gives you the defensive uh, ability that not many players in the league can do. And then Damar, I love his ability to make plays. Make plays, yeah. He that's, makes that's, plays, that's what not just for himself, him. yeah. but also for, for others. For others, yeah. And he's unselfish. Yeah. Uh, so he's happy to share the ball. He's had, I think, his first a career triple double this year with us against uh, against, against, us against yeah against you guys. Oh, tomorrow is not gonna happen. Trust me. <laughs> well, yeah. it's hard to happen twice against the same team. Yeah. Uh, I'm hungry. Are you guys? Very much. We're pretty hungry. Very good. Yes. Okay. Good because today I cooked. Yeah, cow heart. Good. Protein. Protein, yeah. Before? I have. I have actually. Oh, yeah, it's stuff made in Spain, yeah. Oh, yeah, in Spain. Okay, yeah. good then. Okay. Looks similar to liver. To liver, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Hey, tell me, what? What do you think? Mm. Really good. What do you think about the song? Mm. Really well. I think it's the other way, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. 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 Eh, be careful. Be careful. I understand Spanish. Oh. Sabes, sabes oh. que yo también hablo español, ¿no? Ay, perdona. Oh. Ay, cuidado. Se me olvidaba. Cuidado, cuidado. I forgot, I forgot. ¿Te gusta el reggaetón o no? Yo, sí. <laughs> mucho. ¿Y tú? A mí también. ¿Cuál es tu cantante favorito? Depende, pero... Ahora... Carol G. Carol G? No. Oh. Dale. Yo lo conozco. ¿Seguro? Sí. Personalmente o sí, personalmente, sí, sí. Ah, yo sí, sí, personalmente sí. no tengo. ¿Ah, sí? No tengo el gusto. Sí. ¿Y cómo la conociste? Eh, con, porque ella estaba con, una, con un amigo. Ajá. Y cuando yo estaba en, en París, ella también estaba ahí y me fue en estudio y es muy amable. Sí, muy amable, sí. Pero yo también me gusta uh, Osuma. Osuma. Osuma es bueno. Sí, Osuma es el bebé, sí. ¿Jay Balvin? Oh, sí, Jay Balvin, sí, me encanta. Me encanta. Yes. Yeah.